Hey there, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. New phones can be expensive, and the Pixel 8 Pro is no exception. So, we all want to protect our investment, either with insurance, a backup device, or by preventative means. One of the ways I like to prevent damage is with a screen protector, and my champion of choice, once again, is the offering from Whitestone and their Dome Glass UV Cured Tempered Glass Screen Protector. Sure, it's a bit pricey compared to your standard tempered glass screen protectors, but what you get is not just great quality, but rather superior quality in my opinion. Because once it's installed, it seems as it was always part of your phone. So, let's do a quick unbox and installation. First, you'll notice that the sticker on the outer plastic wrap states it is for the Pixel 8 Pro, while the actual box itself states it's for the Pixel 7 Pro. This was part of their early shipments where the marketing slash packaging hasn't been fully updated yet to reflect the proper model. Rest assured, this is indeed for the Pixel 8 Pro in this video. Front and center, Whitestone proudly claims full response, full clarity, full coverage, full filling, blue light cut, and 9H scratch protection. It is also a two-pack of protectors. First up, we have the USB-C powered LED UV curing machine, three tubes of adhesive, the jig tray and position bridge, alcohol wipes, cleaning cloths, absorption pads, dust remover stickers, pull pin, pin loader, speaker masking film, connector masking film, two tempered glass screen protectors, and the installation guide. First, lay out all the materials you'll need to install the protector on a nice leveled surface, and grab a power bank or USB charger to power the UV curing machine. Second, open up an alcohol wipe and clean the phone screen and dry with one of the cleaning cloths. Third, peel the connector masking films and apply them to the ports and buttons on all sides of the phone. Next, insert the absorption pads into the jig tray. Then, pop the phone into the jig with the top of the phone closest to the pin loader section. Install the pin loader onto the jig and peel the speaker masking film and place it over and around the pin loader making sure the black portion covers the speaker slit. Give the phone a final wipe down with the cleaning cloth if needed and use the dust absorbing sticker to remove any errant dust particles. Then insert the pull pin into the pin loader and install the position bridge. Get your glass protector ready and note the peel that states back. This will be what touches the phone screen. Next. Unscrew the pink cap of one of the adhesive tubes and place the tip into the opening on the position bridge. Slowly unscrew the black cap to release the vacuum to allow the adhesive to flow out and give it a few seconds to completely drain out. Then remove the tube and the position bridge. Be sure there aren't any bubbles in the puddle. If so, use the tip of the adhesive tube to disperse any that you find. Next. Carefully peel the protective film from the screen glass protector and place the back side down, aligning the edges with the arrows on the jig, with the top edge resting on the pull pin. Then, press down on the bottom of the jig and let the adhesive flow toward the center of the phone. Once in the center, pull the pull pin to drop the screen glass protector onto the phone. This will sandwich the adhesive and force it to spread evenly across the phone. Give it 20 to 30 seconds or however long it takes the adhesive to completely spread. If your surface is not completely flat and spreading has slowed or stopped, feel free to slightly tilt the jig accordingly to help the adhesive along. While waiting, I'll tidy up the surrounding area a bit. Next, activate your power bank if needed and place the UV curing machine over the middle of your phone and click the button just once to engage the 15 second curing session. Repeat this for the bottom and top of the phone as well. Then pop the phone out of the jig and use the alcohol wipe to wipe off in one direction any excess adhesive around the phone. Now we'll do a final curing session which is pressing the curing button twice to engage the 60 second session. The instructions state to do this for the top and bottom of the phone twice, however I personally will do the middle, bottom and top just to be super thorough with extra coverage. Finally, peel off the masking film and give your phone a final wipe down and enjoy the clean look while being assured your display is now protected. You may ask, but what about protecting the rest of the phone? 
I was pretty happy with the simple dual layer protection my old Crave case provided me on my Pixel 6 Pro where I just stuck a metal plate between the layers near the bottom for my car's magnetic mount and so I was going to go the same route. However, I came across this case by Taurus. Let's go ahead and unbox it. It comes with simple and minimal packaging that includes a warranty card and the case itself. The back of the case has a smoky transparency and a MagSafe kickstand that seems to hold its position quite well. Let me go ahead and pop my phone in and give it a closer look. I like that the transparency allows the color and style of the phone to slightly still come through as you can still see the Google G logo. The case provides a slight lip all around to lift the screen up off a flat surface when placed face down. It has a cutout for the microphone at the top, small Taurus branding on the bottom left side, cutouts for the speakers and USB-C port at the bottom, and separated power and volume buttons on the right side which are satisfyingly clicky. The kickstand feels sturdy and stiff enough that it can be placed at varying angles in portrait mode while not so much in landscape mode with just the one angle. Also, it can technically double for a finger loop in a pinch. For most that choose this case, they will be using MagSafe and related accessories. I don't have any MagSafe accessories and didn't want to spend any more money if I can use the same accessories that I already have for my Pixel 6 Pro. So while looking for a case, my criteria was it obviously had to provide drop and scratch protection, it being able to magnetically attach to my strong magnetic car mount, it being able to still use NFC and wireless charging, and a kickstand would be nice but not necessary. Let's test some of this criteria. What I have here is a USB-C power delivery capable battery bank with wireless charging capabilities and the wireless charging stand I use at my desk. I'll first wake the battery bank up which activates the wireless charger and place my Pixel 8 Pro on it. Wireless charging is indeed activated as indicated by the animation on the screen. Now I'll power my wireless charging stand with the same battery bank and place my Pixel 8 Pro on it. Again, wireless charging is working just fine. Does NFC work? Yep, it sure does. What about sticking to my vehicle's magnetic mount? Well, as long as you target this lower portion of the MagSafe ring which would have the most magnetic contact and you use one of the stronger magnetic mounts that have six neodymium magnets like the one I'm using here, it will work just fine. However, the limiting factor is that with this setup, you're limited to only using it in the portrait position. If I later upgrade to a proper MagSafe mount, I should have no issues in either landscape or portrait position. The phone stays in place while driving, even when taking this turn. I imagine the phone would fall off of the mount if I were to hit a pothole or a speed bump at a faster than recommended speed. Other than that, this case works for my purposes. You can even stick it on your fridge if you'd like, uh, for whatever reason. Do you guys have and use a preferred screen protector or case? If so, which ones? Sound off in the comments below. If you're looking at these particular products, I hope this video provided some insights. These products aren't sponsored or anything, and the opinions are my own. If you're interested in them, I have affiliate links in the description below that will earn me a small kickback at no additional cost to you. If you like this video, please give it a like. And thanks for watching.